right. For many cities, stormwater management remains one of the greatest challenges. It's no different here in Michigan. For months, we've been getting hammered with heavy rain and flooding. So how do we fight back? One of the ways to slow the water flow is with something called green stormwater infrastructure, a concept the EPA has been researching in cities across the country for years now. But is that an option for Metro Detroit? Seven investigator Heather Catalo takes a look. With climate change, the flooding isn't going to stop anytime soon, but medians like this could put a dent in it. They may look pretty, but they're doing a whole lot more than just looking good in order to fight flooding. When more than six inches of rain fell in a few hours on June 25th and 26th, freeways flooded. <laughs> and basements filled with water and sewage, leaving neighborhoods piled with debris. Early state figures show the flooding cost homeowners at least $140 million, and the damages are still being tallied. It was very devastating. Barb Matney says after suffering through flood damage in the 2014 storms, she started making major changes in her neighborhood on Detroit's west side. It's going to take all of us working together and doing the right thing so we can help the environment. As president of the Warrendale Community Organization, Matney is passionate about her neighborhood. That's why she's helped create this community garden and a rain garden across the street at the Minock Whitlock Park. All of this green space absorbs the stormwater and reduces flooding. What we've done is uh, put gutters on our pavilion so all the water that comes off the pavilion goes down underground to a tube and actually feeds into the rain garden. Matney says during storms this summer, cameras caught the rain garden in action. Actually filled up and actually held water in this space almost halfway to the pavilion. And within 48 hours, it was down like what you would see it now. Without the garden, Matney says the water would have flowed down the street and possibly into basements. Matney and her Warrendale neighbors also benefit from the flood fighting effects of four bioretention gardens. They were installed back in 2015 as part of a partnership with the University of Michigan and Detroit's Water and Sewerage Department, or DWSD. How do you change vacant land and how do you get some super efficient ways to clean stormwater and store it? And this was uh, our experiment. U of M professor Joe Nassauer says their team used vacant lots to install green stormwater infrastructure, or GSI. These bioretention gardens are much deeper than rain gardens. They're filled with permeable materials and have plants on top to absorb the water. It was designed to have a capacity of 300,000 gallons. Our tests over about a year and a half showed it worked extremely well. Nassauer says their study showed that the bioretention gardens not only improved flooding, residents love them. We were stunned at how much people felt they benefited. DWSD built on that success with an $8.6 million GSI investment in the West Side Aviation neighborhood. This is the inlet to the project. The water is coming here around the curb line and it's coming into this inlet. DWSD Deputy Director Palencia Mobley says they turned these medians on Oakland Boulevard into bioretention gardens, and they now manage 37 million gallons of stormwater each year. There's some storage beneath them, and when the plants have soaked up all they can soak up, then what's left is bled back into the combined sewer system. Mobley says GSI helps during rainstorms, but no system is designed to handle the type of downpours Detroit got this summer. That means even bigger investments are needed for the future. For residents and businesses and people in general, they have to understand these projects take time, but that we are all working to figure out the best way to combat climate change. Where is the world going to be for our grandchildren and great-grandchildren? And if we don't start doing something about it now, I don't know where we'll end up being in 20, 25 years. DWSD has a major $30 million GSI project scheduled for the far west neighborhood where water will be stored in Rouge Park. Construction on that is set to begin early next year. On Detroit's west side, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Heather, thank you. Very valuable information there. So.